just be out with us to the Atlantis Resorts and Adventure. If this is your first time to our channel, my name is Irina. And I'm Devon. And we create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. This is our third time to the Atlantis. We've been here on the cruise and this time we're just staying at the hotel and we have compiled 13 useful tips for your Atlantis experience uh, to get the most out of your Atlantis vacation and save money. So as usual, just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us. You are in a water park and you do need a waterproof case for your phone. So while you are going down the slides or on the Rapids River, you can catch that perfect social media shot. Well, here at the Atlantis, they have these gigantic water pouches and they are $20.90. And personally, I don't think they're good for your phone because first of all, they are really big. So your phone will be sliding, which could be fine, but the thing is, you have facing front camera and back camera so for your back camera you only have this one little window so if your phone slides down it's not going to your camera is not going to be exposed so a good tip for you be sure to bring your own good waterproof phone pouch another useful tip while here in Atlantis are these these soda machines so they are refillable machines and when you make a purchase of a soda you can always come and refill not only in the station where you purchase the food but any other station that has one of these so a good tip is that when you do purchase a cup especially when you come with kids they love soda they don't drink water save the cups and you can go to any one of the refillable stations and refill the soda and of course there's ice there's water so if you have your container and you're drinking water you can always come here use the ice to refill it and there is soda and and uh, soda water as well. The Atlantis offers a lot of different sea animal encounters. Right behind me there is a shark tank and you can actually go swimming with sharks. Other fun encounters that being offers is uh, dolphin encounters, sea lion encounters, stingray encounters or you can even snorkel in the lost city of Atlantis. The tip is you cannot just book an encounter and come visit the Atlantis and do the encounter. You have to be either the Atlantis guest or have the Atlantis pass or stay in the Comfort Suites Hotel. Atlantis is not all about the slides and all the different lazy rivers and different things. What you need to know, a really good tip is that once you're inside the Atlantis Hotel, make sure you go to the concierge and get a pamphlet of the activities, the daily activities. Yes, throughout the entire complex here, there's activities um, that are offered to the guests. There's, there's uh, uh, different shows, there's different contests that you can enter, kind of just as, as if you've been on a cruise before, how they have the itinerary. It's the same thing that Atlantis has. So just don't come here, plop your beach towel down and just kind of lay out of the pool and call it a day. No, there's so much more and there's a lot of activities going on. So make sure you pick up that itinerary pamphlet. The activity itinerary changes every single week and also if you purchase a day pass you'll be able to get the itinerary as well now you want to come to the atlantis during the best weather right now you can see it's overcast and it's not overcast because it's just an overcast day we are actually visiting the atlantis in april and april is the rainiest month here in the bahamas and unfortunately it is spring break so it is also the busiest month the hurricane season here in the Bahamas is from June 1st through November 31st, but they do not have too many actual hurricanes passing by. So even if you do come during this time, it does not mean that you will be hit with a hurricane. Most likely you will still have a perfect weather. Winter months is December through February. This is when it's the chilliest here. So, and again, this is a water park, aqua adventure, and you're in the water for most of the time. Uh, yesterday we were actually in the Rapids River floating and it was an overcast day like this drizzling so we got a little bit cold so the best time to actually visit the Bahamas and the Atlantis is May through September 
staying at the Atlantis is not that cheap. Some of the towers go for starting from 359 to 400, 500, and even over a thousand per night. And don't forget $150 for the resort fee per night. So to save money on your Atlantis stay, you can book uh, two other towers that is a part of the Atlantis right behind me There are two towers one of them is with the flag is the coral towers and the rates are a little bit cheaper than the Royal Towers the Cove Towers and the reef towers the rates start for from about 240 US dollars per night and right behind it there is also beach two beach towers but starting from May 1st 20 2022 this hotel will no longer be a part of the Atlantis well it's still the Atlantis grounds but Pharrell actually purchased that hotel and he will be remodeling that hotel making it a music theme so the rates might change however it still be managed by the Atlantis and you will still be able to access the Atlantis Park and one more place on a way you can stay and still get access to the Atlantis Park and still save money is the Comfort Suites located just few minutes away from Atlantis. The rates start from $140 per night plus $37 US dollars per person resort fee and of course the 21% tax. We created the full video of what this hotel looks like and we will leave the link in the description below. And now on to our next tip. Even though the Atlantis has a lot of shops, it is very hard to find water shirts. They are sold in a specific stores and we were going around the entire resort trying to find a water shirt. And they do come really pricey here. So another tip is make sure come in here bring a water shirt because you are outdoors the entire day and preferably with UV protection. Before you come to Atlantis, be sure to download the Atlantis mobile app from Google Play or from the Apple Store. It features interactive GPS maps and it also shows you where on the map you're located in real time, the GPS Wayfinder. You can also make dining reservation, uh, marine encounter reservations, dolphin encounters. Um, there are also self-guided property tours and much more. The Atlantis property is really large and they do offer shuttles to take you around to different spots of the property. This shuttle stops at different stops. During the day it runs every seven minutes and in the evening it runs every five minutes. So if you're staying all the way in the reef tower and want to go to a restaurant in the royal tower, this shuttle will take you around. Another tip is if you do have your check-in luggage, be sure to bring your favorite full-size sunscreen because sunscreen here is, has uh, most of them are pretty low on SPF uh, 38, 15. It is pretty hard to get 50. I prefer 50 in a uh, cream shape opposed to spray and this is actually the first time I found it and they went to so many different gift shops here. So this size right here is $19 plus tax and uh, some other prices so SPF 8 is $24.99 and I saw other bottles so for example this small one 3 ounce travel size is $18.99 and I saw other SPF uh, spray was as much as $45 for a size like this. If you are staying at the reef residencies, 
and have an apartment with a full kitchen or the Atlantis Marina as well, you would need to get groceries. And the closest grocery store is here at the Paradise Shopping Village. It is a really small store. It has just a little bit more varieties than at the grocery store at the Reef Residences. And the prices are still very high, but at least you get more variety and you don't need to take the taxi to go outside the Paradise Island to go shopping. Many people when coming to Atlantis or staying here don't even know this place exists. We are at the Atlantis Marina and as you can see behind there are beautiful yachts and just immediately after that you have all the stores here in the marina. There are many shops, bars and restaurants here as well as really great shopping. If you get here around 6 o'clock you'll notice it's kind of subdued, it's kind of chill but just believe that within a couple hours, 7, 8 o'clock, when all performances start, they have a Jankunu uh, sample of what the Jankunu festival is like, and they parade right through the marina, sometimes in one direction, sometimes back and forth, I guess, depending on how many people there are at, in this area at the moment. But it's definitely something you don't want to miss. And again, all you have to do is look for these yachts and you know you are in the right place. So besides the performances, you can also look forward to seeing some fireworks, which is super awesome. And the fireworks display starts on that side of the island. The Atlantis is such a big property and it has so much to offer. So when you come to experience the Atlantis, don't just stay in one pool area or one beach area. Make sure you walk around, explore the grounds, and to do so to prepare you for your vacation so you get the most out of your vacation we created a five part series touring the entire atlantis resort the grounds and their towers be sure to click on the playlist right here and watch all the videos before you come to the atlantis including the cheapest way to experience the atlantis thank you so much for watching and as usual just be out with us